हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू डू इमेज क्रॉपिंग स्केलिंग और लाइव प्रीव्यू इनसाइड एंगुलर 13 एप्लीकेशन सो यू कैन सी द डेमो ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन हियर यू कैन चूज एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ इमेज फाइल एंड व्हेन यू अपलोड दिस इमेज फाइल यू विल बी सीन अ लाइव प्रीव्यू हियर इन द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ द इमेज लेट मी चूज अ फाइल हियर इमेज फाइल इट कैन बी जेपीजी और पीएनजी एनी फाइल इमेज फाइल इट यू कैन सी दिस इज द image and this is the live preview that you can see on the right hand side you can also crop this image like this by using this user control and you can zoom this image it can also you can see it is changing the aspect ratio after zooming it you can just download the cropped portion by right clicking it save image as simply save this image and it will download as png image you can view this image like this so this is a great uh, Uh, component library by which you can crop images on the live so you can also download any sort of image from the internet so let me download one such image so it's a quite a big image you will see if i save this and now if i try to open this with my application you will see this is the live preview you can see that so if i zoom it you will see that how it is you can see now if you are happy you can right click save this image so this is a great way by which you can crop images zoom images and also you can live preview it whenever you are uploading it so i will be showing you how to do this so i am using a library called as npx image cropper If you just go to npxjs.com, just search for this library, ngx image cropper, image dash cropper. So the very first result which comes in, this is the library that we are using. You can see it's a very popular library, eighty-eight thousand six hundred and sixty-two downloads. So very many developers use it. So for this, I have written a complete blog post on my tutorial uh, on my website coding siksha. So I have given the link in the video description. So all the instructions are given alongside with the all the source code. So just go to the video description link if you want to download this uh, the source code of this application. And now let's get started by building this. So I will stop this server that I am running here. So. I will close this folder and also close this and here I will go to my projects directory and I will make a new project so I will make a new directory angular crop cd angular crop and I will initialize a new project angular project so basically guys it will create a new angular project here so this will hardly take few times so we don't need routing and we will only need css so i will not pause the video so it is just installing all the packages that it needs so just wait it is just constructing the angular js angular project so we are doing it in the latest version of angular latest version latest stable version is angular 13 so this will be applicable for all the people who are also using old version of angular also so but i will highly recommend that you use the latest version which is angular 13 so it is just installing the packages just wait after it we will open this inside our visual studio code text editor so now it has installed it so this is the brand new angular project you will see we will need to go to first of all let me move to the project directory cd angular project and now guys we need to install this package npm i ngx image cropper so install this package it will hardly take 5 to 10 seconds so now it will sh show you this error if you write the statement here npm i ngx image cropper so now to force this you will just need to write npm i ngx image cropper dash dash force so in just force it and now it will install this package so no problem so sometimes it may differ to the latest version of angular so in that scenario you can just write dash dash force to install it 
after that you can go to app.module.ts file and add the line here which is uh, from this package we need to just write ngx image cropper and from this we need to import this line which is image cropper module and now inside your imports array just add this image cropper module so now close this file we are done and now open app.component.html file so just all delete it just launch this application ng serve and it will start this application at localhost 4200 and now guys we will use our container class of bootstrap and we will use mt5 text center so now we will have the h3 heading so it will be angular image crop example so just do this and after that guys we will have our component which, which for this we will have another div which we will give it call md12 so here we will have the input file so input file and we will give it a so basically if you refresh it you will see our input file if i go to localhost 4200 this is our input file here choose file so whenever we select any sort of image a on change event will trigger automatically so we need to attach this on change so we will say on change so simply change and this will be equal to a function that we need to define so on file changed so this function we will define and this will get the event which is passed to it that's it and uh, after that guys we need to make this method so right here inside our app.component.ts file we need to make this method so on file change so when the file changes this uh, event variable will be there so of the type any and inside this we will for this we need to define a image variable right here at the top image change event this will be type any and this will be equal to no nothing here at the very start of the application and now we can define this dot image change event is equal to event that's it so after that guys we can define our uh, image cropper so right here inside app.component.html we can just say div and we can attach a style to it so it will float it in the left position so that we can see live preview as well so here we will attach image cropper tag image dash cropper inside this this takes various properties first will be image change sorry this needs to be defined right here inside the tag so various properties it takes image change event so this will be equal to we need to define a function which will be image change event So this is a function we defined here you will see you can see image change event so we have defined it so now we are attaching it right here you can see this is a variable image change event after that there is the option of uh, aspect ratio so you can define the aspect ratio of the image so we will define it 4 by 4 you can define it anything and another option is there which is uh, maintain aspect ratio so this can be either true or false but uh, i will make it true the aspect ratio must be preserved and the another property is resize to width this will be again a boolean value so sorry numeric value so i will put it 256 and then the format of the image this can be either jpg or png 
and next we have the function image crop so c needs to be capital so this is a function which lets you crop the images so here we will define this function as crop image and we will pass the event so next we got is the image loaded so when the image loaded successfully then again we will define this function image load then again we have the function cropper ready so for this we will define init cropper so these are all user defined functions so this is not related to the library and one other event of the library which is load image failed so if the image failed to load then we will define this function which is image failed so now we have defined all these methods here and lastly we can also show the live preview inside another, another div so again we will give it a style property of float left simply here we will say inside uh, image preview and we can display the image inside the image tag so source will be equal to dynamically value it will be equal to this value crop image preview that's it so now this template is complete now we just need to hook up the variables here so first of all inside this we will define our crop image preview variable which we will define here you will see this variable we need to define here so crop image preview this will be type of any this for the time being it will have nothing and after that we need to define the variable which is on file change this we have defined we need to define it from the crop image so this will take the event and this will be the type image crop event so now this will automatically import it from this library so add this line so this will be a function so what it will do it will simply we need to define this variable this dot crop image preview this will be equal to the base 64 code E dot base 64 that's it it will just crop the image and show the base 64 codes on the screen and now we need to define all the functions image load so this will be an empty function you can just define some th some things here init cropper and image failed so if the image is failed we can show a alert box to the user that uh, image failed to show So this is the application now we can load this hopefully this will work so it is saying crop image preview oh, sorry this needs to be image spelling mistake image change event image change event let me see image image change event let me see if you go to the video description link you will find this code think yes image changed so it just add a d here so this was a problem image changed event so it is saying on file changed so i think we have defined it on file change sorry this needs to be on file change do it and now you can see compile successfully and now 
our file is ready if i choose file and now you will see as we do this our preview is working perfectly so we are cropping this image zooming the image as well if you right click save this image as png you can also change the width, uh, width of this preview by simply manipulating this value by changing it to 500 so now this will this preview will be bigger so now you can see the width is changed 500 so it is saying way bigger so you can also change it to 1000 now you can see you can also zoom this so accordingly you can change the value you can also change it from png to jpg whichever format you like you can change it i think it doesn't recognize jpeg yes you can see so do this like this so if you now right click save image as so it will save it as jpg image so you will see any image you can like here so in this easy way guys you can use this library to crop images scale it zoom it when uploading files to the server images all the source code will be there inside video description so if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in next video